Good day, kids. Welcome to science class with me, Madam Ivy, Madam Mas Mulyani, and Madam Lina. Today, we are going to continue with part 3, Soil and its Contents in Unit 9, The Earth. We had learned about landforms and soil and its contents. Today, we are going to do some activities to learn more about the soil and its contents. There are two tastes today. The first test is, we are going to study the soil's contents through separate and observed methods. The second test is, we are going to study the soil contents through the soil jar test method. You may refer to your science textbook in page 86 to 87. In this activity, we are going to use the separate and observed method to learn the contents of each soil. Let's watch the video. I want you to observe the contents of garden soil and sand. Contents of garden soil Contents of sand From the video, we learned that garden soil contains twigs, dry leaves, stones, roots, small animals, and sand particles. And sand contains small stones and sand particles. Now, I want you to copy this table and question in your science textbook, page 87, into your exercise book. I repeat, I want you to copy this table and question in your science textbook, page 87, into your exercise book, your science exercise book. Take the soil contents found in each soil based on the video just now. Then answer the following questions. Okay? Write down today's day and date. And please make sure also that your handwriting is neat and legible. Now Please take out your science activity book. 
Turn to page 60 and 61. Turn to page 60 and 61. We are going to conduct the soil chart test to learn the contents of each soil. You may refer to page 60 to ready the apparatus and materials. These are the apparatus and materials that you need to prepare. And the steps. And the steps to conduct this test. Let's watch the video. I want you to observe the contents of the three soils. Label the jars with sand, garden soil, and clay. Then, put the soil into the jars. Add a tablespoon of detergent powder. Pour some water into each jar. Stir up each mixture. Tighten the lids and shake the three jars.
Leave the jar for 30 minutes. To get better results, leave it overnight. Observe the content of the three jars and complete the question in your science activity book. These are the results after I leave the jars overnight. As you can see here, there are different layers appearing for each soil. The bottom layer will be the heavier particles, such as stones and sands. The next layer will be the silt particles. Above that, there are the clay particles or the very fine soil particles. Organic matter such as the decaying plants or animals may be floating on the surface of the water. The color of the soil gives a clue to its character. Light colors usually have less organic content than dark soil. Can you name each layer? Based on your observation, I want you to fill in the blanks and name the type of soil in the jars based on the soil jar tests you have conducted. You may fill in this page once the water starts to clear and you are able to see different layer appearing. And I want you to send a video of you explaining the different layers formed in your garden soil jar taste to your science teacher. This is an example for you by using the sand jar test. Okay? So in this video, she will explaining the different layer form in sand jar test. And you, I want you to explain the different layer form in your garden soil jar test. Use your own creativity in presenting and explaining the different layers form in your garden soil jar test. Hi everyone, this is my jar test result. The soil type in this jar is sand. As you can see here, these are the sand particles that have settled on top of the small stones. It's easy, right? Yes, so you may practice before you record your video and send to your science teacher. As a conclusion, let's revise on what you have learned in Unit 9 DF. You have learned that there are eight landforms. Let's read together. There are mountain, river, beach, pond, hill, lake, valley, and sea. You also learn that there are three types of soil. Can you name it? Yes, they are garden soil, clay, and sand. You have learned that garden soil contains twigs, dry leaves, stones, sand particles, and small animals, while clay contains very fine soil particles and sand contains sand particles 
and small stones. As a reminder before we end today's lesson, there are four tasks you need to complete. Task 1. You need to refer to your science textbook, page 87. Copy the table and question in your science textbook, page 87, into your exercise book. Then, take the soil contents found in each soil and answer the following question. For task 2, you need to refer to your science activity book, page 60 and 61. Conduct the soil jar test. Once the sedimentation process is done, the water starts to clear and you are able to see different layers appearing. Observe your jars and complete your science activity book, page 61. Don't forget to write down today's date here, okay? For task 3, you need to send a video of you explaining the different layers formed in your garden soil jates to your science teacher. And, and the last task for today, task number four, you need to do the online exercise through word wall. You may refer to your class telegram group for the link. We have come to the end of the lesson. Don't forget to complete all your four tasks. Then, Send them to your science teacher. Stay safe and healthy at all times. Thank you and goodbye.